Hi guys, it's Rie. We meet again. So I'm going to this party and I'm going to make crowd pleasing dessert. It's gonna be large, easy to eat, and it's gonna be delicious. I'm going to make this pie pizza. So basically it's going to be a pie crust. You're going to roll out this pie dough and bake it. And I'm going to top with mascarpone cheese and fresh fruit and jam. Let's get started. I'm going to make basic pie dough. And this recipe is from my favorite pie shop in Brooklyn, New York called 4 and 20 Blackbirds. I was going there every single weekend. <laughs> and this pie dough recipe is from their book. The most important thing about making pie dough, ingredients has to be very cold. So I have this cold butter, it's two sticks. And you want to cut into cubes them into bowl. I'm going to put this in the freezer until I'm going to use. So I'll be right back. Next, I'm going to combine dry ingredients, two and a half cup all-purpose flour, three tablespoons of sugar, and half teaspoon of salt, mix with whisk. And now I'm going to bring back the cold butter from the freezer. It has to be very cold, but um, it doesn't need to be frozen. If it's squishy and a little bit soft, don't use it yet. And make sure it's like cold and chilled. You are going to mix butter and flour. I feel like a lot of like cooking tool, especially baking tool, look like a torture device. I wonder which one was first, you know? Cut butter in the flour until butter is size of pea. It's kind of like this. And you don't want to touch it too much because your hands are warm. Now I have ice water and apple cider vinegar. Add four tablespoons. And you don't need to use all the water. You just have to see how dough is reacting. I don't want to put ice in the pie dough. So I'm straining. You don't want to dump water at once because you don't want to have like wet dough. And I'm going to start with like three tablespoons. Use bowl scraper and mix in. And then you kind of continue to do it until dough becomes one big blob. And you kind of want to do this process as quickly as you can. Kind of want to keep it cold so butter won't melt. If you keep like touching and butter melts, it doesn't get flaky dough. And at this point, I'm gonna switch to hand and start making this into one big blob. <laughs> blob. Why is this other than blob? Pie dough is almost done. You can see like a piece of butter in a dough that is important. My dough is ready and I'm going to cover with plastic and rest this about 30 minutes to one hour. We chill the dough and I'm going to roll it up and you want to put some flour underneath it because it's a little sticky and a little bit flour and flour and every time you turn make sure flour get in the bottom. I kind of want to go for oval shape. Make it kind of thin. You see the butter chunky chunk, chunks? Butter chunks. <laughs> they make flaky pie. So you kind of want to roll it out until thickness of cardboard. <laughs> the thickness of thin blanket. Thin blanket, not thick one. <laughs> Very big. So dough is done and I'm going to put it in a pan. I'll be right back. I have giant pan. Do you think it's gonna fit? You are going to re-roll. All right, we made a continent. And now I'm going to dock with fork so it doesn't puff up. Dock, dock, geese. Doesn't need to be perfectly lined up. And I'm going to crack an egg for egg wash. I want to brush egg wash in a pie um, because it gives a nice kind of shiny finish. Egg wash helps the sugar to stick the dough. It's kind of look like a continent from Game of Thrones or something, right? <laughs> and also I want to use sugar called Tarbinado sugar and it kind of gives a nice crunch. It is coarse sugar, it is partially refined according to Wikipedia. <laughs> 
and I'm going to bake this at 400 Fahrenheit for 25 minutes to 30 minutes. But I'm going to check around 15 minutes and I'm going to turn so it's evenly bake. Right, let's bake it. So now I'm making raspberry rolled jam. So I have fresh raspberry, but you can use frozen sugar, half a lemon. It's a reason I'm straining over the mesh sieve. I don't want to put any seeds. You're going to cook it until 220 Fahrenheit. I'm going to just wait until it's going to boil. You want to constantly stir it so it doesn't burn on the bottom. Skim off any foam so it doesn't have any white thing. <laughs> Once it's boiled, you are going to lower the heat about medium heat and you are going to cook it about 15 to 20 minutes. And I think you can do another test. You can drop off the jam and put it in a freezer for like 10 seconds. And if it's not dripping, I think it's ready. But um, I will rely on the technology. So we have been cooking jam for 15 to 20 minutes and it registered 220. So I'm going to remove from the heat and I'm going to add rose water now because if you add rose water while you're cooking, the nice fragrance will be gone. So you want to add when you finish cooking jam. Some rose water is very strong, but um, this one is not too strong. So I'm adding one tablespoon. So jam is done. I'm going to transfer this to a bowl and I'm going to cool this room temperature and you can store in the refrigerator. And it will last about two to three weeks. And let's finish up the pie. All right, pie is beautifully baked. And now I'm going to make mascarpone filling. It's creamy and kind of rich. Three tablespoons of sugar. Combine it nice and smooth. All right, so it's nice and soft. We are going to spread it. Hoping I have enough cream. All right, so you spread mascarpone and you see the jam I made earlier? Put some drops and a random spread it. So each bite has jam. Going to top with strawberries. This is going to be another freestyle. Fill blank space with the strawberries. And then fill with blackberries. I love berries. I'm so hungry. Blackberries up close, it's kind of creepy. And blueberries. Okay, it's done. So I use a lot of berries and you can use any fruits you like, but I think berries is the way to go. When you serve it, you're gonna be just cut like a pizza. So you can mingle and like eat. Okay, let's go to the party with my giant tray. And I might change my outfit too. Okay, we are at the party and it's time to reveal my surprise. So the surprise is I'm pregnant. Maria was at my house for a brunch and she was like one of the first people there and she was like, before everyone comes, I want to tell you something. And I was like doing dishes. I was like, what, are you pregnant? And she was like, yes. And I was like, oh, you screamed. I almost cried. I freaked out. I was like, ah, I'm so excited. We don't get to know the name until like the baby's here. So I'm keeping it secret. <laughs> it's moving. It's moving. Yeah. Oh my God. You're going to be such a good mom. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Did you text me? No, no. I was in a car. We show, I draw you a card. And we are in a like car. No recollection of this. And I think like you said, "Are you pregnant?" Right away. I'm I'm psychic, so yeah. I'm sure. I That's did. what you said too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Having this on camera now, if it happens to be a girl, I called it first, and you will have to name it Alex in that case. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm so excited for my journey and baby Rie coming soon. Ready or not. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I'm not ready. Did you say baby Rie? Yeah. You're just multiplying. Ready or not. <laughs>